Okay, so we have a powder brown tang that we just got in yesterday. I suspect he has flukes, so we're gonna do a freshwater dip. I've already got him caught. He's sitting in salt water right now. We got our RODI water. I have had it sitting inside this tank in the same system he's been in to keep it at temperature. I have my air bubbler in there, aerating it. And we're gonna set our timer for five minutes and time him exactly, okay? This is really easy, really simple. You don't, most people tend to freak out more than the fish does about it. But I've done hundreds of these, literally. And it's never that bad. All right, so he's in. We start the timer now. And we're gonna cover it and we're gonna watch him. They're gonna act a little crazy. It's gonna look a little bad, but it's never as bad as you think. You can kind of see where these little areas are starting to turn opaque on him. I'm thinking, and we'll know for sure when they start flying off, but I'm thinking those are flukes. This is really important for them. All right, you can already see the flukes falling off. We are at, we're only a minute in, and you can already see them flying around. They almost look like little white sesame seeds flying all around. And, that guy is not in the in the in the dip, just so y'all know. <laughs> He's just hanging out, wanting to be a part of the party. But you can see him, they're turning white already on him. This is gonna be so much better for him. Okay, so I only have about a minute left on the dip. He's looking way better already. You can see the flukes flying all over the place. You can still see a few attached to him there. I think it focus on him. You can still see a few attached to them, but those will come off. They're already dying or dead. And, uh, yeah, we just have one minute left here. And I'll give you one more shot of what it looks like when the fish is out and the water has settled down. Okay, so he's all done. We're going to pull him out. He's going to feel way better after this. And you can see why it's really important to do a freshwater dip on, some, on a fish that is highly infested with flukes before you do Prazipro because Prazi is going to cause those flukes to all seizure and die and all those that large amount of them on the fish can cause the fish a lot of damage yeah okay and that's what they look like right there you see those little sesame seed looking deals that's flukes all right so now you know what to look for you can see that it's not bad on the fish let's go and look at the fish how's he doing And he's perfectly fine. It was a little bit of an ordeal for him, but it's not that bad. There you go.